I started my career in IMEC uh, 12 years ago and uh, I've been responsible for biosafety and nanosafety uh, aspects of, of research since about four years. Uh, so in 2000. 16, uh, we launched the NanoStream project, which is a major focus on my activities uh, nowadays. But I also have some operational responsibilities, as I mentioned, in uh, practically doing risk assessments related to the use of nanomaterials in early R&D uh, development. Uh, so maybe to introduce uh, my institution, uh, IMEC is one of the largest research uh, centers worldwide for uh, nanoelectronics, which means that we deal with a lot of uh, materials that are tested for their applications within uh, semiconductor industry, specifically uh, in energy applications, in, in core CMOS, in imaging and also in life science uh, applications in terms of medical devices. We are very much um, concerned about uh, the well-being of our uh, workforce. Uh, so typically it means that the uh, material is screened for all of their toxic uh, properties. And we also look how a certain material can interact uh, with other materials in the processing chain. And the, the nanomaterial aspects come um, from the application as such, and then we also look at the uh, processing conditions. Now, uh, the problem about nanomaterial uh, research and, and development risk assessment is that um, the process parameters change quite a bit until the final recipe has been uh, fixed. So that requires multiple uh, revisions, also changing, uh, sometimes changing equipment. Uh, so this is, this is basically how we approach in early R&D stages. I think my colleagues from, from the industry can explain how the uh, late R&D or, or process safety in regular applications is approached. Well, the NanoStream project uh, has several objectives related to the use of nanomaterials. Uh, first of all, we want to collect information about how nanomaterials are being used at the moment and be able to uh, propose suitable risk assessment tools. Uh, secondly, uh, we collect reference information about tools uh, in, in terms of measurement devices that are useful for actually characterizing emissions and characterizing um, um, nanomaterials that are produced accidentally. Uh, and finally, it's also about the training and internal communication uh, towards the, the workforce and also uh, finally communicating the results to uh, external stakeholders like regulators.